All right, guys, Neil Collins from Neil Collins Recording. Thanks for coming along. Let's get into the unboxing. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Before we get any further, if you're into one wheels, having fun, that sort of thing, if you like, subscribe, do the bell thing. Trying to get a bit of a community going. So I'd love to see your channels, check out your videos and all that stuff. So let's do it anyway. So yeah, welcome to this, uh, welcome to this um, unboxing video. Well, I don't really do many unboxing videos because it's just sort of, you're just taking stuff out of the box basically, aren't you? But some of you might find it helpful, see what you get in the box. Um, so yeah, that's why I've done it. That's why I put it together. So um, it might be a bit crappy, but it is what it is. I had to do it in the kitchen because I've been doing stuff in my office and that, and didn't have the room. So it's in the kitchen. There's a weird sort of sign up. Hopefully you can take something from it. But before we get into the unboxing, um, just a bit about why I chose to get the one wheel pint and not the XR. So the main thing is the price. Um, in the UK, one wheels in general are expensive, more expensive than they are in the US. I couldn't really justify buying an XR. I might get one in the future, but I'll see how I go with the Pint first. But um, for the range and speed, I can't really see that there's going to be a problem, to be honest. I live near the beach, so most of my riding is just going to be either riding on the beach or on the prom. And if I need to go to the bike track, so I'm gonna drive up there anyway, so. I, I think the Pint's gonna be fine in terms of range and speed for me, so. You know, I'm a bit older anyway, so I don't wanna go super fast. Uh, because if I crash, I'll probably get injured. So yeah, that's why I chose the Pint. I think it's gonna be amazing, but let's unbox it, see what we get. All right, guys. This is quite exciting. Just taking delivery of one wheel pint. Right. Let's open it up. Obviously another box. Pretty cool. Life's about to get more awesome. So we'll see about that, don't we? Right, open the box. What have we got? So we got manual. There it is. The one. What a beast, what a beast. So, that's what you get inside your, your box. In the manual pack, got the charger. I'll have to get an English adapter, but that's cool. Uh, some cool cards you can give out to people. Stickers, pint stickers, one wheel stickers, nice. Customised. There's your manual. All good. Packages are nice. It smells rubbery. I just can't wait to give it a go. I told you didn't I? Just me in a kitchen taking something out of the box, but you know, hopefully found something a bit useful. Anyway, so first impressions. It's heavy, but that, that's not a bad thing. It's built like a tank. I mean, I'm not going to be carrying it anywhere anyway so the weight thing isn't a, isn't an issue for me 
and probably won't be for you. Thanks to Ride and Glide in Worthing, and that's where I got it from. Link in the description um, to their site if you're local or in the UK. Great guys, um, really helpful. Put together a nice little bundle for me uh, with extra bumpers and fender, etc. So everything you need to start riding. So highly recommend those guys. I think they just moved office, but they're they're based in in Worthing. So I'm going to take it for a ride, see how I get on, and I'll report back in the next video. But yeah, can't wait to give it a go. It looks like it's going to be fun. I haven't got a catchphrase, but like, subscribe, do the bell thing, um, and I'm going to catch you next time. Thank you.